question is, is Kung Fu Panda the trilogy the best animated trilogy of all time, madame? Yes. Mr. Sir, Senor, I would probably be in the category of saying yes, solely because I have a deep connection to this movie and this franchise. Now, if you don't know on this channel, there's a word we say. It's skadoosh. Skadoosh is famous in Kung Fu Panda lore. It's been the inception of everything great to do with this franchise. But the truth of the matter is, the story and history of that word, the origins, are from this man right here. This numpty it's came true. up with that word a couple years before it was in Kung Fu Panda. It's true. I can confirm. I was there. It made its way into his regular vocabulary. He was using this word on a daily basis and somehow it got whispered on the wind to Jack Black and then it made it into this film. When we watched this film for the first time, we went, wait a minute. He's saying my word. Yeah. How do you know my word? Honestly, that's kind of how it felt. But you're not bitter. No, right? it's great. I love it. Something I created got to that level of success. Unbelievable! You know what, that's the universe. Everyone thinks they have that word though, right? It's true. Oh, I came up with that word. No, I know. I came up with that word. And it had the same intonation. It was always skadoosh, like something's cool happening. Something's about to go down. But I think it's fair to say it's up there. The only problem I have is two major franchises. One, How to Train Your Dragon. Oh. Top tier. I never watched a third one, mm -hmm. so I can't say whether as a trilogy it's better than this. And the second one is Toy Story. Oh, see, I don't count Toy Story because the first two films were very strong. Mm -hmm. Characterization, the story, the animation, I mean, they were pioneers. But by the third one, they were falling off. And the fourth one, they kind of fell off quite a lot. A lot of people say the third one's their favourite. I think they're wrong, but the fourth one was real bad. Yeah, it's a shame. And I can't consider that a trilogy because there's four films. Right, but then Kung Fu Panda is getting a fourth film. So in that case, Kung Fu Panda will not be able to be considered a trilogy if they do make the fourth one. Yes, but right now it still counts as a trilogy. That is true. Right, There's right also now. Shrek. Oh, but is, Shrek has like five or six movies at Discounted. this point. And the third one was real bad as the well. The third one. Shrek Absolute the dog shit. It was terrible. But one and two iconic. Iconic, but as a duology iconic, not as a trilogy. I will say about Kung Fu Panda specifically, the first film was such a high level. Mm -hmm. It was so mm -hmm. good at what it did. But then the second film got even better. I didn't know how. They made the villain so terrifying. Yeah. And they covered so many topics across these three films. They're so well made. I cannot praise it enough. The way in which they brought these characters and the story all together and the music. And then when they got to the third one, they actually introduced a sinister villain off the bat. You went within three minutes. Oh shit, they actually leveled up somehow. Yeah. They've actually made it more nefarious, more evil. Yeah, but they did it in such a good way. And we saw Master Ugwe, I'm happy mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. that. Come and Poe actually realized his full potential in this movie. I don't know what they're gonna do in number four. Yeah, I Ultra don't. Ultra Instinct Poe. Yo, That's Dragon Ball Z stuff there, but he had his Zenkai boost as well. There was a lot of shit going on in this movie for the third one. Yeah. And you just watched it, so you can say what you thought about it. But it was a rather emotional watch. For me, yes. I'm of soft heart, so some of these lines with the dads mm -hmm. was getting me gone. My eyes were tearing up. That's what happens when the story is very well written. It's well scored. There you go. Can you believe the character? As long as Disney do not somehow buy DreamWorks, I believe they're going to do a good job with it. Because Disney kind of in the shitter right now in terms of their animated movies, not doing the numbers, not doing the business, not doing the ratings, not doing the general approval of the audience either. Yeah, you kind of said it all. They're just falling down significantly, which gives rise for better products yes! to come up. Yes! All you need is a good story with good messaging, not something so forced and down the throat as they have been doing for the last few years. The message of Kung Fu Panda 3 was do your best, be the best version of yourself. Find something you're good at. And that was brilliant. And I loved it. And I cried. It's very easy to make her cry, to be honest. But we've got to do fact of the day. Page number 154. Fact number. Four. WTF is the acronym of the World Taekwondo Federation. Oh. Now, you probably thought it was something else. I thought it was something with a swear word. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, you're wrong. I was wrong. World Taekwondo Federation somehow ties in... Kung Fu Panda. I love it when we get those full circle moments. It might be Korean, not Chinese, but you know, martial arts, martial art. It's true. You need to work hard at it nonetheless. Indeed.